challenging the stars themselves, spaceships pierce the vast blackness of interstellar space, carrying with them the infinitesimal lives of men dedicated to the planet Earth and to her perilous Space Command. Such ships as the XSW-1, exploring the uncharted regions of outer space, far from Earth, in search of signs of another intelligent race, while they themselves are observed by what they seek. segment. We found two planets here. There must be more. Hey, Jet's power on. Bell. Hey, Frank. Sound action stations. Ready, sir. On Earth, more than 26,000 billion miles away, the highly trained personnel of Space Command's master control keep a continuous check on her progress. They started their exploration orbit out here, sir. They've surveyed all this area already. They found nothing. No, sir. Where are they now? Very close to Proxima Centauri. And they must be almost through. They don't dare go much closer. Call me when they're finished. I'm in the conference room with the chief of staff. They're all waiting word. Yes, sir. Isn't there anything yet, Frank? No, sir. Uh, this is our last segment. No, I thought for sure that There'll be more than two planets around this sun. Yeah. Only because you're used to Earth 9. Yeah. Well, there could have been none. Well, that's the end of it. We moved every segment in that sector. There's no sign of a planet. Well, maybe we missed them. Maybe, but I doubt it. There's still one more segment we could check, sir. Yeah, I know, but I don't want to go that near to the sun. Well, if we maintain momentum, we shouldn't have any trouble. All right. Let's check it. Hey, Jets, power on. Hey, Jets, power on. They're checking one more segment. Close to the sun? That's risky. They should be almost through. Order them home when they're finished. Well, they found two planets. Not another form of intelligent life, but an achievement just the same. I'll be in the conference room if you want me. Yes. Is there anything, Frank? No. Oh, well, two planets are better than nothing. No sign of another race. What is it? I don't 
don't know yet, sir. Planet? Maybe. Oh, that's too small. Couldn't be a planet. It's almost 100% metal. What? Close enough to see? We'll soon find out. Scanner's on. Scanner's on. Nothing there. Rotate them. Hold it. Increase magnification. It's a spaceship. Oh, yeah. Why? An alien Look. spaceship. That didn't come from Earth. Look at the shape. That must have come from a planet with a thin atmosphere. Look, there's no jet exhausts. That could only mean a space warp drive or better still, anti-gravity. Yeah, well, never mind that now. Look, set your visual recorder to track on radar. Yes, sir. We've got to get a, as much data upon this as we can. Try and get a reading on the spectroscope. Right. All set, sir. Activate your forward gun blisters. Yes, Velocity, sir. mass, range. Velocity, mass, and range. Sir. Armor piercing, atomic charges. Yes, sir. Steve, it's metal. But the analysis doesn't show any known alloy. What? Oh, well, that's not the important thing at the moment. No, the important thing is we found another intelligent race. That's a highly advanced one. Well, technically, anyway. Well, what are we standing here for? Yeah, let's go. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Go where? Well, got to make contact. Did it ever occur to you two guys that whoever or whatever is aboard that ship might not welcome us? Well, why? Well, we're just as big a threat to them and their world as they are to ours. Yeah, but we're not going to attack them. But they don't know that. If they've seen the ship, they've seen that we're armed. They might attack us. Yes, but they're a highly advanced race. Yeah, technically. Our own history shows that uh, the, the, the technical advances aren't always accompanied by social sense. Oh, I know, sir, but we've been looking for a chance to, to find another civilized race for centuries. We can't throw it up now just because they might not be friendly. Well, think of the sciences, the techniques, the knowledges we could exchange. Yeah, I think I we should th risk it, Steve. Look, don't make any mistake about this. So do I. We'll make contact, all right, but... Well, we won't risk a wrong impression right at the beginning by blundering up to them the way you would. We let uh, Master Control figure out the correct diplomatic procedure. Yes, sir. Spaceship XSW-1 to Space Command Earth. Spaceship XSW-1 to Space Command Earth. Acknowledge. Space Command Earth to Spaceship XSW-1. Transmission acknowledged. We've found a planet. It's an alien spaceship. Position 47 degrees, tangent 1220. Where's the report? Here, sir. They haven't added anything more. You should have seen the way the conference broke up when I told them what you phoned me. News around the world already. XSW1 is standing by, sir. Shall I tell them to go ahead? Go to and the top of this. Get me Fleming. Yes, sir. Dr. Fleming, please. Yes, priority. Is this correct? Are they that close to the sun? Yes, sir. Oh, well, just a moment, please. He's talking to someone, sir. Interrupt it. Interrupt the call. Dr. Edmonds, authority. Dr. Fleming, would you hold the line a moment? Edmonds, XSW-1 is standing by waiting for your decision. She's standing off from the alien ship, ready to make contact. That's all. End of transmission. End of transmission. Well, we've had our instructions. Yeah. This puts us in a fine position. Who ever heard of anyone going into a situation like this completely unprotected? Look, I quite agree, Phil, but... Well, we just can't risk a bad beginning. We're risking more than a bad beginning by dismounting all the armament. What if they turned out to be hostile? We'll have to face that problem if and when it comes up. But listen, Steve, we could leave our guns on, but they wouldn't even know what they looked like. Look, Captain, we have our instructions and we're going to follow them. How far away are they? 392,000 miles, sir. Uh -huh. Velocity? Zero. They're standing still. Can we come to a standstill that close to the sun? I don't know, but we're going to find out. Anderson, go for it and dismount the guns. Yes, sir. 
All right, Captain, let's reverse ship. Right. Upper lateral jets, power on. Upper laterals, power on. Reverse. Velocity? 12,000 miles per second. Steve, that was 11 a minute ago. What? The sun's gravity. Agents, power on maximum. Agents, power on maximum. Upper laterals are firing. I didn't fire them. Cut that power. I can't. It's not on. Well, kill your reactors then. They don't respond. It's a V-bank firing. Cut them. The controls are already off. They're doing. I don't know how, but they're doing it. Lieutenant, what's our orbit? 18, 8, 32 watts. We're heading straight for the sun. 
Any more word from the ship? No, sir. Tell them to leave their transmitter on so we can listen. Yes, sir. Space Command Earth to XSW-1. Space Command Earth to XSW-1. Acknowledge. Space Command Earth to Spaceship XSW-1. Space Command Earth to Spaceship XSW-1. Acknowledge. Try again. Space Command Earth to Spaceship XSW-1. Space Command Earth to Spaceship... None of the controls respond. I don't know how they're doing it, but they are. Velocity. Velocity, 12,000 miles per second. And the ship's getting warmer. There must be something we can do. If only we knew how they were doing it. Maybe they are not doing it. Oh, what else could? The sun. What? Um, Steve. Right. This happened to us before. A sunspot induced a current in the control circuits. Oh, look. Our instruments would have warned us of any sunspots. But there just aren't any. We don't know anything about the sun, sir. About the sun's radiation. What did you do last time? He operated them manually. Okay, get to it. It may not be at all, it just may be transmission trouble, nothing more. Keep trying. Yes, sir. I better tell Fleming. Space Command Earth to Fleming. Spaceship XSW-1. Space Command Earth to Spaceship XSW-1. Velocity 18,000 miles per second. Temperature's gone up four degrees. Can you hear me? Have you reached the relays yet? I'm still on the ladder. Hope he knows what he's doing. He did last time. Yeah, I know, but this is a new ship. Yeah, he could blow us up. Relays now. What circuit do you want first? Frank, kill the laterals and all rear jets. Here go the laterals. Oh, it's 
still got to get out of here. Angle of approach. Zero. We're being pulled in nose first. Anderson, we've got to reverse. A short burst of the lower lateral, then stand by to cancel with the upper. Yes, sir. Here go the lowers. Approach 40, 50, 70, 90. Ready with the upper laterals. 140, 160, 170. Now. Good enough. Now to get out of here. Anderson. Yes, sir. The rear jets now. You'll have to take the first on your feet, think you can? I think so, sir. Okay. Fire seat bank first. When ready. Yes, sir. It's only down to 4,000 miles per second. Eight Gs aren't enough. Okay. One chance left.
Are you sure your signal covered the whole area? Yes, sir. Try it again. Space Command Earth to Spaceship XSW-1. Space Command Earth to Spaceship XSW-1. Acknowledge. Spaceship XSW-1 to Space Command Earth. Transmission acknowledged. What went wrong? What happened? Why didn't you reply? Proxima Centauri radiated strong interference. We couldn't pick up your signal. What about the alien ship? Joe, Steve here. We had some trouble. Induced currents in the controls. We, we lost that ship, but we're going to stay out here until we find her again. End of transmission. End of transmission. Captain Castle. Yeah. On second thought, Phil and I think we ought to go back to Earth. What? Yes, sir. Oh, but... Look, fellas, this is a chance we've been waiting for. Oh, just think, for centuries, been, we've been dreaming about meeting an intelligent race out in space. We, we can exchange ideas. <laughs> Why, you... <laughs> <laughs> and so Space Lieutenant Frank Anderson feels his ship speed through space in search of a strange craft which represents an alien race, an unknown form of intelligent life, while we remain on Earth and witness the chronicle of his education in space as a member of Earth's Space Command. <laughs> This has been a CBC television production and came to you from our Toronto studios.